Hey folks, Roland Martin here and welcome to my YouTube channel. You know, these last couple weeks I've just been solid, 100% fishing. And, and I'm, I'm so involved right now with chonder fishing. I gotta, I gotta kinda, there's a couple things that are kinda new on the horizon I gotta talk about and, and some techniques and some ways to rig and some laws and rules about uh, fishing here in Florida for the greatest amount of big trophy bass you could ever imagine. This week alone, I've had five guide parties and four of them, in four of the boats, they had their personal best. At least one, maybe in case two boats had, both people had their personal best. And yesterday, even though the guys didn't catch their personal best, it was the best fishing trip they ever had. So that's the kind of days I'm having right now. And it's because I have a new concept of, of shiner fishing. I, I'm rigging my shiners differently. I'm catching my own bait. You know, I throw the cast net, I do all these wonderful things and I, it's just paying off bonus points. First of all, here at Headwaters, uh, they don't allow commercial shiner fishing. So I asked the Lieutenant uh, Lightsey, I said, Lieutenant Lightsey, he's a fishing game uh, guy. I said, what about if I catch my own shiners in, in, in the net and just give them away? Just uh, don't charge for them. I don't charge $24 a dozen like all the tackle shops. I just give them to my people. And so he said, that'd be fine. Okay, I can do that. So that's what I'm doing. And in the process, I end up, instead of just having six or eight dozen that you'd be paying $150, $200 for, no, I'm, 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 I'm fishing 10 and 12 dozen that I'm paying, getting zero. I'm getting $500 worth of bait out there. So anyway, okay, let me, let me tell you, the, first of all, this, this new deal that's come along. Florida has instituted a brand new law. And what this is, if you notice, that's the new circle hook. That's the new circle hook. And here on Headwaters Lake, they just made it effective as of the first of the, of the month, first of the year, actually, that you had to use a circle hook. This is the standard circle hook, and this is approved by the state of Florida as, as a good circle hook. This happens to be a 5 aught, and it happens to be a good strong wire, a Gamagatsu perfect hook. And it's set, set up with the cur curved eye. It's the perfect hook to do a snail knot. Now, I've shown you the snail knots for my flipping, and I want to show you a snail knot for these downturn eyes. Okay, now how, how you do a snail knot for the downturn eyes is you come through the hole. I don't know if you can find it. There we go. My eyes are a little bad. And I come along and I put the, the hook to the down position, okay? And I make a loop. Watch this. I make a loop right here. And have that line going that way, okay? Now that, this is tag end right here. And here's my loop. I take two fingers and put in the loop and I go one turn, two turns, three turns, four turns, five turns. Look at six turns. Look how I'm turning the thing. Seven turns, eight turns, nine turns. With braid, I go 10 or 11 turns, 12 turns. Okay, that's it. Now, all I do is pull that line tight and pull the tag in tight. Well, and that is 100% strong snow knot. Now, let me uh, t t get to my knife and cut it off. Okay, now that's, there's a couple of ways to do snow knots, but that's a good one. Okay, pull it tight. Sometimes I'll put it on something, I'll pull it up tight and it's real, real solid now. You notice that snow knot? Now, if you want to go 100% more, I'm a big proponent on super glue. And so a lot of times on any of these knots, I'll just uh, really strengthen them, knowing that it's not going to slip or anything like that. I'll just throw a little teeny bit of super glue. Now it's a 100% knot. I know it's not going to slip. Okay, that's the first thing. We got the hook all set up. It's a 5 aught circle hook. That's the new law. Well, it's the new law in Headwaters, and it may well be the new law in Florida on all the rest of the lakes. This is a test situation that they're doing right now. Okay, I like to run a float on the float rigs. I'm going to show you two kinds of rigs, a float rig and a free rig. On the float rigs, for real shallow water, I might go just two or three feet. For the deeper water, sometimes I'll go four or five feet. Now, the shallower the, the, the float, uh, the more exciting it is if you want to see explosive actions. Because if you have a real short float like this, like that... Then the fish comes up and he makes boils and swirls and all oh, he splashes the water. But I don't get quite as many strikes, even though it's more 
it, it's a prettier deal. I like to go about four feet. Then I don't always see the splashing and swirling, but I, I, I catch, it seems like I catch more fish. Okay, now I'm using a styrofoam float and I have pegs on both ends. I have it pegged here and pegged here and uh, it, it holds it really well. This is 65 pound braid, okay? 65 pound braid. Let me show you the other part of the compliment. I use favorite rods and reels, and you know that I do, but the Solace XCS reel, that's, a, that's an eight to one ratio reel. The beautiful thing about the Solace reel, it has a beautiful drag system. Look at that. It's just, it's just strong and solid and heavy duty. I'm talking, that's a big time deal. Okay, that's one thing. And the other thing is having a good rod. This happens to be the, uh, the favorite Rush series rod, which is a very, very good rod. And this one is, if I can find the length of it, but I don't know, it's a 7.3, I think. And it's a medium heavy action. Okay, medium heavy action, and it's plenty long. I don't have the big rod, rod butts uh, on there. You could put the big cushion buttons on there like I use for my flipping sticks. That would be, be all right too. But anyway, that's that rod. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some shiners out in just a second. But first, let me show you the second rod. Now here's a rod. See, right now we're in a big deep hole here. This this is shallow right here, just a couple feet deep. And notice the power poles are, are shallow. That's kind of an island. This is one of the eleven big pits, and out here in the middle, that's all 25 feet of water, way deep water. So there's no grass out there. So what we have now is a brand new setup. What this is, this is a spinning rod with 20 pound braid because I'm out, I'm gonna throw something out here. I'm gonna free line out in the deep open water. And I have a knot here and I have 20 pound fluorocarbon. That's just a 20 pound fluorocarbon deal. And I have again, that snell knot. I just showed you the snell knot. And I got it again with, with the uh, fluorocarbon. That's that five aught uh, circle hook that's legal now for, for fishing here. Okay, and I've super glued both this knot and I've super glued the, the double uni knot. That's a double uni between the fluorocarbon and the uh, 20 pound braid. So this is light line. Okay, so let me just show you what I'm doing. Because this is the first rod I'm gonna throw out there. First rod is gonna be my, my uh, free line. Okay, I'm gonna get a shiner. I'll get back here. And I, I've just caught these shiners. They jump and they go crazy, and these are these are wild shiners now. And they're right in here. And they get one. Ooh, son. Big old shiner. Look at this guy. That's a golden shiner, just as fresh as can be. And he's just as fresh as you can possibly imagine. That's ready for a big giant bass. So I'm, okay, now I'll take this hook that I have right here. And I'm gonna hook it a little different than I do say when I'm dragging it, if I'm just gonna still fish it, sometimes I'll fish it and I'll hook the shiner in the top of the dorsal fin, right here, right there in the top. Come along right there. Come along right in the top of the dorsal fin. Okay, now I'm holding this shiner real carefully. I don't want him bouncing on the floor. I drop him right in the water. Okay, now he look at, look at him swim. He's swimming, he's swimming like crazy. Right on top of the water. So this is all deep right up here. So what I'm going to do, in fact, it's deep and it's kind of shallow enough, I'm going to throw them down that way. Because there's kind of a ledge down there. I'm just going to go ahead and throw them out there. Okay, boom. Now, I'm just going to let them swim around. Oh, there's a couple boats here for two. Yeah, this is a pretty popular area. It's 10,000 acres of water and there's like 40 boats on the, on the lake right now, but I don't see very many of them. So, <laughs> pretty, pretty good deal. Okay, so the only way you know you have a strike is that every once in a while with this kind of rig, you got to kind of feel it. It's like plastic worm fishing. This is a whole lot like you like your worm fishing. So what you can do, you can, you're holding it, that's one thing. But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put it down on the, on the ground. Now there's, uh, if I do here, this you got to keep the thing open. You got to keep your bail open because it'll jerk the rod right smack out of the boat. Okay. Okay, let's get the other one going, and we'll try to catch a fish in the process. Same hook, same deal, with the float, a little bit different. I can hook them a, I can hook them a different way. 
Actually, I can hook this one. I can hook this one through the nose if I want. And I might do that. I might let him just hook in the nose. And, and he's a little bit smaller, Shiner. I'll just come right through that nostril and out of that, that hole there. Okay. And on this one, I'll say, oh, oh gosh, gosh here's oh, the one just hit this one. Yeah. One just blew up on that one. He just made a big boil. Okay. So what I'll do, the circle, circle hooks, you have to kind of reel down on them. Just reel down until you feel something. Until you feel fish. Oh, he came loose. Yeah, yeah, I got him, 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 I I got another rod. I got another fish on. I got one on this rod. Get it, because it's going to... I got one on this rod. This is crazy. This is crazy. I, I, I haven't even started. I got a second fish on. Oh, look at this rod. Except that's a mud fish. Oh, heavens, I got a mud fish. Drop him. I don't want to have a mud fish. Okay, I'll put this one now. We get the mud fish. This is a pandemonium. And that's what happens with when you're shot or fishing. It's pandemonium. This is what happens. This is exactly what, what goes on when we're, we're shot or fishing. Big old four and five pound bass like this. Okay. Okay. That is quality fish. You saw how I did it. You saw how I rigged it up. Hey, folks, that's money. These size fish are something. And action is 100%. Shiner fishing at its best this time of year here at Headwaters and a lot of other areas down in the south. Beautiful four or five pound bass. And hey, just a minute ago, I was fishing with my cameraman Tyler South, just caught an eight pound bass. <laughs> so I'm telling you folks, this is where it's at. If you want to catch a trophy fish, come on down to Florida, get to show some Shiners. Hey, you'll have the time of your life. Hey, we'll see you again soon, and thanks for watching. Hit that likes button.